Hello everybody, here's Ahmad Nasser, back to the track with a new tutorial. This tutorial we want to talk about secure connection in RMI. How could you make a secure connection? Uh, you know, in RMI we're talking about client and server, and we're talking about uh, interface. And uh, this interface extending the remote object. Uh, so, if we want to take a look to uh, our interface, we just design a, a quick an easy application uh, okay for uh, simplicity uh, we created a, a Java the RMI uh, application uh, we extend the remote object in the interface we define four method four remote methods uh, the sum the subdivision and, uh, and the multiplication okay so this is for the the server we take two longs number and we just add okay we need to implement this interface in the uh, calculator implementation so we made other class which is uh, implement the interface uh, this class we uh, we import the RMI server unicast remote object okay so because we uh, import the unicast uh, s uh, server remote object we just extend extending the unicast remote object from the RMI server and uh, we just define the 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 constructor for the class Im or the server implementation we have here calculate uh, in bold the name of a class and we give the port and we just uh, call the super constructor for the unicast object which takes the board number because we want to make a secure connection in the RMI and here we just implemented the the methods uh, the sum we just add subdivision and multiplication here we just multiply uh, here we just got none remote none remote method so this is none remote method so you, you you're not gonna be able to call this from the client because we will use the interface which is the remote object so these are the main methods uh, we just here uh, as I said we just define uh, the uh, the port number in the constructor and we just call the super constructor uh, for the unicast object in the calcul calculator impulse class uh, after these two, uh, we have uh, other two classes, the client and the server. So if you want to take a look at the, the server, in the server we, d we, we have a lot of stuff in the server. The first thing is we just imported the Java I.O. exception, the serializable class, the, the server socket from the .NET library. So we say uh, java.net server socket. We imported the RMI naming service, imported the RMI remote exception, the RMI socket factory from the RMI server to RMI uh, server socket factory, uh, the .NET server socket factory, and the .NET SSL, SSL server socket factory okay uh, and also we just imported the registry impl from the RMI registry uh, library after that we just defined the class implementation we implemented the RMI server circuit factory and we implemented the serializable class because we want to work with a uh, uh, RMI and you know in RMI everything must be serializable uh, so after implementing this uh, interface or my server socket factory we just ge auto generated the server socket uh, the server socket method is just gotta create a new method called uh, create server socket and this ser create server socket will take the port number and we wanna create a server socket factory to be equal to the secure socket uh, the SSL uh, 
server socket factory dot git default well, I just want to assign the default and after that we server socket we the socket we say that this is will be equal to uh, factory that creates server socket for the given port number and after that we just return the socket um, okay in the constructor when first called we say uh, public uh, calculate server calculator server we just uh, created a, a new object from the the server implementation the the register impulse class, the register manager, uh, the register manager. Uh, we say register impulse impulse equal new register for the given board number. Let me assume here's uh, one thousand oh nine nine. Uh, we just uh, try catch here and try other statement. The other one we just you know. We just try to rebind uh, the server with the RMI registry using the name and services. So here we just create a new interface with a with a port. So we are talking about specified port. Um, we use the naming the rebind for RMI localhost, the board number, and the interface. Uh, uh, the the interface so you can change this uh, as you need so we say C uh, here are the remote methods if, if we got a problem we must change this but for now it's okay okay this is pretty much the most important thing is the rebinding with the interface. Uh, next step is going to the client. So in the client, uh, we just uh, import the .NET the socket, the RMI client socket factory. The suck uh, the circuit factory the .NET SSL circuit factory we implement the RMI client circuit factory and uh, we create the circuit with a string which is the host and the port number and here we just create a circuit factory we new the git default and circuit circuit equal factory that create circuit for the host and the port number. So we're talking about uh, port number 1099. Uh, so here, as you can see, we're talking about port 099. Um, so we just created a new interface, and we call the we just connected the client to the RMI register with the naming services. Use the name of the lookup here, RMI lookup with the uh, RMI localhost 1099 okay after we created the interface we call all the remote object methods with the we give it these values we call all these which return numbers and uh, this is this is all the story here this is all the story so if I try to come to uh, our classes uh, try to save everything and try run the server first. So as you can see here, uh, the remote method were recorded. Everything is fine. So we are waiting. Okay, if I come to the clan one, as you can see here, we call all the we 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 have called all the methods so this is for subtraction this for addition this for uh, multiplication this for division using the secure circuit so this is a way we have implemented the secure circuit in uh, in the RMI uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, I'm really I'm really tired I need to go sleep right now so Please guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you later in another tutorial. Thank you.